right, so today on the agenda, we're gonna build an A-line over here. So for some context, that's where the excavator is. There's a wall, that rock wall right there. And currently we kind of launch off where the rock wall is and we kind of land where the excavator is to some degree. Uh, the problem is there's been like this hidden rock that's been in the way. It's been kind of scary to launch this too far because uh, chances are you're gonna land on that. I like to build a landing somewhere around here after you do that, you have this little chicane here. And that's fine, I like the chicane, but that's gonna turn into the B-line because what I wanna do is I wanna build an A-line that goes straight through here. And this will be our first like full feature on this trail. I don't think this project should take too long. Haley's gonna start prepping the ground here and kind of get rid of these leaves. I'll go ahead and kind of chop some of this stuff up for her so she can start moving this and clearing out the entryway. One of the trees we took down is an ash tree, which they're being infested by a beetle right now. But the reason why you can tell that it's an ash tree, because there's only two kinds of uh, deciduous trees out here that grow opposite like this. So if you see branches go one this way and one that way at the same like junction, it's, it can be either like one of two trees, either like a maple or, well, that's not a maple leaf. So this is an ash tree. Actually, throughout the whole country, there's like a whole thing of like emerald ash borer that's killing them. This guy is a big ash tree. It's got this very iconic kind of bark. Um, but this guy will eventually get killed off by those beetles. Our options are to let it get infested or we can harvest some of the lumber now and use it for useful projects on the line. Anyway, that's not enough of uh, rambling with Phil. That will probably not make the final cut of the video anyway. Big toad! You get him! Oh, you're beautiful. I'm gonna cut this log up into sections because I think we can use this to encase the takeoff. get rid of this rock and start building the landing so we're going to get rid of this rim destroyer 2000 here and then start carving out the next jump
All right, so this is what we got. We uh, have a little bit of a step down. We didn't we dig down too deep here. Um, and that was purposeful, because like once you start getting too deep in the soil, you get into a soil that doesn't drain well, but this top stuff does. Uh, so I don't want to dig down too far, but that's good also because like if you look from over there This has more of a from this angle It doesn't look like there's much of a landing and it's actually pretty gradual, which is good because this is more of a long and low and We didn't dig down too much just enough to get us enough dirt to build that up and Since we didn't go down too far uh, this top stuff drains pretty well, but once you start going down into the clay, it doesn't drain that well So I like to try to stay above that layer of dirt and I've learned that the hard way through building stuff in other parts of our property I'm to me this looks hand-built and I like that I've been trying to make things that don't look machine-built because something about machine-built trails tends to have the same homogenous feel but hand-built trails just has this kind of like organic feel to it. And uh, yeah, I think I think we were able to maintain that. I think we'll end up coming through and polishing off this with a shovel at some point. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let's go back and uh, get some water. Mm. Off-roading with Haley. <laughs> I think what most people don't realize is this thing is actually pretty hard to drive. It's not exactly state of the art. You don't have power steering. There's no rear suspension. The front suspension exists, but it's not great. And then if there's no, if there's a lot of weight in the back, there's no weight in the front. So it understeers like crazy. And it's actually like pretty long. It, like the turning radius is really wide. So like something like this, you think you can fit through fine, but it's actually like really She did a sprint. Are you happy to be outside? Yes, you are. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Look at that happy tail. Look at this happy tail. Hello, Smokey. How are you? I'm running back inside. Alright. So, let's uh, see. How the work we just did feels. It's my first time back here since I got back from Whistler, so I don't forget how this feels. Oh, what the! I have never bottomed out my fork so bad. I guess I just. <clears throat> I don't remember this. Did you move some rocks here? No. I went to like push off something and there's nothing to push off of. <laughs> All right, I guess let's try this again. Yeah. We scratched in a little bit of a lip, so. Oh yeah, money. Yeah, we'll go to landing for that second one. That'll be really good. Cause you kind of come down from that and just like land pretty flat. All right, so yesterday we put this in, but um, never really secured this to anything. So I want to do two things. I want to secure that and I want to get rid of this uh, thing that's hanging out before we move on to our next bit. So I'm going to take my trusty tripod and stick it in the ground. Boom. Yeah, all, all right, so as far as drill bits go, you have bits like this. This is like a standard drill bit. Um, and then you have a bit like this. It has this tip that's like a screw that helps pull the bit down. And this stuff 
It's not really cutting. All this stuff does is help uh, get rid of any of the excess cuttings from drilling. So this is good for small holes. This is good if you need to go really deep. So I meant to sharpen this before taking it out, but well. <laughs> is dull. Beautiful. Bye, later, later. Now I think a lot of people will give me for like nearly coming in contact with the ground. And you know what I have to say? This is my own equipment. If I want to run it into the dirt, I can do that because I bought it and I paid for it with my own money. So if that bothers you, that's not my problem. <laughs> for context, that's where we're working. This is kind of the work road. And then to the side, we have got this old cherry tree, which I kind of want to save because it's some cool wood. But we have that ash right there that's fallen. Then all along this corridor, we just have like a bunch of small trees that I think uh, will help out quite a bit. Like that stuff right there, it's not like the most amazing stuff ever, but it's in the right place. And we're just going right up there, so. I think that's what we're all doing. Right, boy.
so right now the excavator is sitting where the barrel pit is but this i like how this looks to me this looks hand built and that's the way i've been trying to approach building this trail like i mean i'm using the machine however i'm trying to use like the methods i would like typically use to build with if i was doing it by hand except we can move dirt so much more quickly with the machine so all things considered i'm really pumped with how this is shaping up definitely uh dip that into dirt quite a bit so we're gonna have to sharpen that up quite a bit or maybe just put a whole new chain on but i'll skip to another day when i'm actually hitting this <laughs> boom all right so we're in the future now and got my bike over there haley has got her bike we're gonna give this a go Smooth as butter. You know, it's not smooth as butter. This stupid thing. Yeah. <laughs> I want it to be small for my speed okay. because that means it's the right size for other people. Okay. That's the way I look at it. Do you want to stack some more logs up in front? All right, we've added some logs there, so in case someone goes kaplunk, they don't go as kaplunk. <laughs> a little bit of tire mark here, but like I didn't feel a kaplunk. You got tripped up again. It sounded like you got tripped up by something. All right, I guess uh, that's probably where we're gonna end off this video. I'm pretty happy with how this rides. This just adds like the right amount of like oomph to the trail because the trail up above was really fun. And we kind of lost speed going down there because it gets a little marshy and you're kind of like traversing a flat gradient right there. So uh, this, allows you to maintain it more speed because before you had to do this like little chicane um, and there's like a root right by Haley's like feet right now that you'd have to dodge. So it made it actually pretty tricky to maintain speed. So at least we can maintain more speed. But my thought is I want to continue building a few more features like this down this uh, straightaway because I don't want to make this like machine built or like super like feature oriented. But I do want to add like a few things here and there to kind of spice it up and give it a little bit more flavor. But like otherwise, pretty bummed. All right. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.